Stand both passing less than 50 meters from the diver's boy in one hour of time, which is flat out demonstration of nautical incompetence in Croatia. The depth was 10 meters, so every intermediate spear fisherman can easily dive off 20 to 30 meters from the boy while sneaking to the bottom. The sound travels 4.3 times faster underwater, so there is no way of knowing exactly how far and which direction it's coming from. <laughs> Then there is always that one idiot that does this. We were like, oh, look at the ball, let's pick it up. So even if he didn't kill a diver while passing for the first time, the diver would probably be rushing up to get air and he would get him in the second time for sure. The biggest problem are charter boaters, aka weekend captains, or the special group which is by creation called Alpska Mornarita. <laughs> Alpska Mornarica, or Alpine Navy, if you will, whose representatives are from Germany, Austria, Slovenia, Italy, and even if they don't have Alps, Czech Republic, Poland, and Hungary, the majority of them are lacking navigational and general nautical knowledge. Their main purpose is to get to some location to anchor down and slam as many beers as possible. If they see a diver's boy, there is a very high chance they won't know what it signals and just blast full throttle at a few meter distance. Some of them have been boating for decades and they still don't know the basics. At the end, it doesn't even matter where you come from as long as you don't endanger other people's lives. It all comes down to the lack of sea traffic controls. Every year when a first diver or spear fisherman gets killed, police and coast guard always have their preventative actions for a week or two until the dust settles and then continue to not give a shit until it happens again. We keep hearing the same police bullshit excuses. We don't have enough boats, we don't have enough people. You don't even need the boat. All you need is a DSLR camera and a telephoto lens. You set up a dummy boy like we did and just take a high shadow speed photos of morons so you can send them fines later. As simple as that. In a year, I guarantee you'll earn enough money to buy boats, jet skis, helicopters and whatever else you need. Another problem we've noticed are too small or even non-registration markings on some boats. The NV means not visible and we were watching from less than 150 meters with this professional military binocular. Now imagine this scenario. You are enjoying your day at the beach and boom! <laughs> Someone hits a snorkeling kit with the boat at full throttle 50 meters from the coast. There is no chance you'll see a 5 cm registration marks bare eye. The boat is disappearing in the distance, you can't even report the killer. Think about that for a second. So to conclude, let's take a look at what would help. So jumbo posters about distances everywhere. So we're talking about huge posters like 20 meters by 10 meters showing divers boy and coast and minimum required distances by the law. Dummy boy controls, so as we said, set up a boy, take pictures and send them fines later. Remember, big fines, so they'll remember it. Finally, bigger registration marks, so they are readable from about 50 to 100 meters bare eye. So that would be all for today's video. Tell us if you've had any bad boy experiences in Croatia and let's discuss it in the comments below. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our future content. And remember, stay safe while diving. <laughs>